I was actually on the golf course uh, the day it happened and thought I had indigestion and and uh, uh, went through the cl clubhouse and drank some milk, thought it was gonna, gonna take care of it, didn't. And it was kind of surprising. I was one of the first in, into the cat lab. I had a small restriction in the front of my heart, put a couple stents in. In the second heart attack, I was volunteering at the information desk and I was reading the Argus Leader and all the ones I couldn't see what was going on. So they just flipped me in a wheelchair and I don't know if Annette knew or who it was, but took me down to the ER and ended up in ICU up there. Put in two more stints. And Monday morning I went down to the cath lab and the next thing I know, my own crew was preparing to transfer me to Sioux Falls for quadruple bypass. Um, I had four blockages. The least was 85, the most was 99. And so I was taken down to Sioux Falls. They did quadruple bypass. And luckily, I had come in and I have no heart damage, um, no deficit, anything like that. The first time you meet them, they, they truly care about you as a patient. Um, I knew most of the nurses because we've worked together either through the ER or anything like that. The hospitality of that unit, you know, is rates very, very high. And I resisted. I thought, oh no, there's nothing serious, nothing serious with me. And he was just patient, patient enough. And then also, all, one time when I was traveling, I had an episode of hypertension, which uh, resisted the, the medication. And I thought, that's enough. Okay, go ahead, do what you ever, what you have to do. I was up on uh, the telemetry floor and got out of there. They did an angiogram. And then uh, I finally had to get some stents in. And that really made a difference. I came in to see Dr. Garcia for a checkup and he didn't seem, he didn't feel everything was okay. So we had to follow up with, um, a bunch of tests and um, had no idea that I was plugged up like that until they did the tests and within two days I had two new stints and uh, on the road to recovery feeling fine now. I went quite a few years without seeing a cardiologist and then when I opened the clinic here I, uh, I did have what I felt a lot of tightness in the chest one day and I came and came to the emergency room and at that time it was it was uh, Dr. Maliki that did my actually I'd started seeing Dr. Garcia and then I Garcia had me gone that time and, and Maliki took care of me it was nice to have my family right here you know I was in and out the next day I, I have a saying listen to your heart uh, listen to to your body of what is what is going on if you feel ill um, get checked out. If it's just, I think your mind tells you that, hey, something's not right. Um, when I had, I wouldn't, and I've picked up a thousand patients that can't describe their chest pain, can't describe their discomfort, and I couldn't either. <laughs> My guys laugh at me yet when they, well, what's it felt like? I said, I don't know, but it didn't feel right. If you uh, um, start sweating for no reason, or if you're fatigued and you really haven't done a lot of uh, uh, exercise or walking or whatever. And um, my symptoms were mainly uh, kind of heating up and sweating. And um, I never thought anything of it until they started checking into it. And that's when we found out it was as bad as it was. Don't wait, don't, don't think you're too young or too tough to, to have that happen to you. I mean, with the, get, get into the clinic and, and get one of the doctors to take a look at you. Get checked out, because you just never know. You know, your heart's a funny organ. It's, you know, sometimes you don't get second chances. Those ladies in cardiac rehab really know what they're doing. I, I just highly recommend uh, to anyone, you know, that is that has to go through any kind of a procedure, because the, the program is excellent. It's a very good follow-up follow up program. They were awesome. The motivation that they gave, and I said I felt bad because I was half the age of most of the patients, but um, that didn't stop them from motivating me. And after the 12 weeks, to be able to 
take my physical fitness test to get back to work. Um, they were phenomenal. The cardiac rehab ladies, they got a special place in my heart. So, I've been part of your cardiac rehab program four times. Uh, I don't know why I ever get out, put it that way. I should just continue it because the girls down there just do a tremendous job. Uh, just very, very caring people and, and uh, been a great program. So, I feel great. Well, I feel uh, pretty darn good. I feel good most of the time. and I feel good. You know, I, I can't tell that there's anything wrong, really. Oh, I've been doing quite well, you know. And I feel a lot better since the last two stints were put in. So, and it's an awesome feeling knowing there's somebody in Watertown to help you. Look after yourself um, and take care if you feel different. Again, get checked out. Slow down, enjoy life. In my condition, probably not to put, a, put on that extra weight and do, maybe do more exercise. I'll try to take care of myself a little bit better. I could exercise. It wouldn't hurt me a bit. I don't do any of it. It would be to learn the symptoms. Uh, for example, I, my right ankle was swelling. And uh, an individual noticed that, and I just shucked it off. And don't shuck those things off. Uh, learn more about it because that is the beginning of a problem. So get on it right away. I, I think trying to eat better would be the biggest thing. And uh, that's probably the trouble I'm struggling with right now is figuring out what's best to eat. Be aware. Listen. Listen. And that's listen to, listen to my intuitive sense, listen to the people around, around me, and probably not be so uh, uh, self-sufficient to say, hey, this can't happen to me. I'd like to thank the staff here at the hospital, Maliki, Garcia, you know, they're all good. We've uh, really appreciated having the hospital here and all the specialties that are coming into it. That's, that's one of the greatest things for Watertown area. They don't have to go 100 miles or 140 the other way. Or I have nothing but uh, the very best to say about the capabilities of this hospital the cardiac rehab group and the cardiologist. And everybody in the cardiology department, they're very pleasant and and uh, I just have to thank the whole staff there and the doctors. I would like to thank the whole staff at Prairie Lakes Hospital for the way we've been, you know, that I've been treated over the years, especially the ones in the cardiac clinic. Uh, Dr. Garcia has been my primary doctor there. Uh, He's, he's more than just a doctor, he's a friend. I'm just grateful for having another, another day of life. And I talk to my heart and I say, hey, thank you for, uh, for being there, pumping away. And uh, without that, uh, I wouldn't be. So it's a great time to be alive.